Hello and welcome to the Aero-V engine assembly video series. I'm Joe Norris at Sonics Aircraft LLC. In this series of video segments, we are going to walk through the assembly of an Aero-V engine. We will be following the sequence called out in the Aero-V assembly manual. The manuals get updated much more often than the video series. So if there is a case where the manual and the video series disagree, your manual that came with your engine is the guide for you to follow. But in general, all of the steps that we have in the manual will be shown in the video series. We hope you enjoy the video series. We hope you enjoy putting together your Aero-V engine. And we look forward to seeing your airplane flying. In this segment, we're going to install our cylinder hold down studs. Uh, these are our stud set here. You'll see that there's three different sizes. We have uh, several long studs, uh, some medium length studs, and some short studs. And those go into various locations in the engine to make sure that they line up with the cylinder head when we install the head. Now on our case, on this right side of the engine, we call this the right side as it's bolted onto the airplane, you'll notice this upper rear uh, stud location uh, looks a little bit different. The case saver is actually re recessed back into the case. Now these case savers are basically steel inserts that our uh, hold down rods thread into. This particular one is just recessed back into the case. Now we occasionally get somebody that looks at that and it, it appears that the case saver might have fallen out. Uh, that is not the case. This one is supposed to look like that because the case saver is uh, back inside the engine case back here. So. Uh, these studs just thread in by hand. The lower ones are all the longer length. So you just thread them in just far enough to get good thread uh, attachment. We can actually see inside the case and see when they start to protrude through. They don't need to protrude into the inside of the engine case at all. So we just thread them in until they're fully seated in the case savers. And that's all the further they have to go. Once you get one in there you can make them all the same length. And again, these lower ones are the longer studs. Now because this case saver on top is recessed, that will also take a longer stud on this side of the engine. The opposite side in this location will take a medium length stud. So there's those. The outer one up here will take a medium length stud in this location here. And you can just hand thread it in. And then these two center upper ones are the shorter studs. In a later step, some of these will need to be trimmed in order to clear other uh, components of the engine. We'll talk about that when we get there. Basically, this is all you need to do is repeat that process on the other side. Your studs are in place, and then they're ready to accept the cylinders, and we'll start to assemble what we call the upper end of the engine, the cylinders and heads.